on the Northwestern. Well, we're on our first string this morning. We'll see how this does. This string goes from 75 fathoms to 71. Covers about five miles. We've got a day before that ice edge hits. Hopefully these pots pan out. First pot's up. I see stuff. There we go. Woo! Wee! Now we can just do that steady for 100 pots. There's some crap coming up in them, so that's all we can ask for right now. There we go! Oh my! Yeah. Crap! <laughs> That's going to work. That's what we're looking for right there. That's looking good. I want them all like that. area to be fishing in right now. But that's the motivator. That's the kind of fishing we came for. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. Yeah! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is unexpected. This is not, but there's another flow right behind it there too, so. And we are definitely in harm's way. It's the first stuff that break that comes off before the main pack. Slicing into Captain Sig's grounds, razor sharp sheet ice and larger bergs, the advance party of the Arctic pack. That being said, these winds are supposed to switch around northwesterly, and that'll help. So eventually, this ice is going to recede. And so there is another window of time for us. But that's real risky. So in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking, if I lay these back through, are they going to still be here? That's the negative to a psychopath's mind right there. I don't know, maybe I'll just set them back. After planting his flag up north, yeah, Rod, we'll get it ready. Captain Sig stands his ground, even when ice flow rumors become ice cold facts. Every few hours, this game is changing. But if I see prep, I want to put it back. We're throwing the dice. We've got 60 pots up in this area. Right now, I'm pulling these on short soak. Uh, that's because the ice is nearby. On his hottest Opelio numbers of the season, Captain Sig fishes amongst the flows, getting in one last score before the solid pack ice catches him with his pots down. Wasn't sure how fast it was moving, so we need to be very careful here. huge. It looks like at least four to six miles, so we got to get them on deck. Guys, okay, it's right on the end of the gear, right on the end of our string, so you got to go into ice mode. I thought we had till tomorrow morning. That's not what happened. These got to come on board, okay? All right? It's going to be a really, really long night. 
With the Arctic pack moving in, Sig rescues 60 pots in the throes of ice four feet thick, strong enough to penetrate the steel of the Northwestern's hull. I haven't really had to deal with ice packs since I've been here, but I've heard stories and this and that. So hopefully we get all our pots before they get swept away. Okay, Clark, you guys ready? Roger. see the next one in line so I think we got bit this thing's moving fast ice is just chasing after us now uh, next one got moved too I think we got bit here I can't run I'm just gonna have to get the gear on first get this get it done and then get out of here bottom line they can hate me later. Hate me now. I don't care. I just don't want to lose all my gear. God. The next pot is a half mile up there. It's a nice field. It's crazy. There. I'm nervous going through this because they're hard pieces and they're stacked up. So it's like a razor blade cutting through your boat. Yeah, fishing in the ice. Now we got all eyes looking for two orange dots. This is what takes a lot of time, and hopefully the bags aren't broken from the main line. I'm hoping we don't lose our pots. This is horrifying. I know the majority of the guys are pushing up. It makes me wonder where Jonathan's at. I haven't seen him. Thing about giving him a shout. Time to have it. Hello. Johnny, you got me? Oh, you How you doing, man? The ice said it's right on me. It was really, really bad. It's like there's no fingers left, you know? It's just main pack ice, and, and then you lose all your gear. Yeah, that is moving. Yeah, they called the ice desk lady. She said, we're gonna cover the island and everything. The whole damn game's gonna get shut down. If that plant closes down, we're in big trouble. <laughs> 